Go over that, see how the audio works for this. So again, I'm just going to work this a little bit quicker. We have 0 square root of 3, negative square root of 3. I'm going to do the exact same process. x equals 0, x equals square root of 3, x equals negative square root of 3. Right? They're your zeros. You set them equal to x. Now set them, equal, um, set them all equal to 0. x minus 0 equals 0. x minus square root of 3 equals 0. x uh, plus square root of 3 equals 0. Now remember, we're doing the zero product property reverse. So I'm going to set them as all factors. x minus 0, ladies and gentlemen, is just x, right? Times x minus square root of 3 times x plus square root of 3 equals 0. All right, but again, we, want to, we don't want to solve for 0. We want to actually figure out these multiplied equals f of x. So now we just need to multiply. Here is what we call a reference of 2 squared. Um, could you, Lauren, could you take that? Put it on your book bag. No, 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 no. Put it on your, no, put it on your, no, 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 no. Put it on your desk, please. Put it on your desk. There you go. Just leave it right there, right there. <laughs> so then you have this, and you're going to multiply these out. So this is a difference of two squares times x squared minus, not square root of 3, but 3 equals f of x. Now distribute one more time. f of x equals x cubed minus 3x. Done. Got it? Questions? You want me to move? Okay. Gotcha. Cool?